morning, everyone. Welcome to Tonal Talk. I am Kate, your community manager. How are you doing tonight? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're here. We're going to give everyone a few minutes to trickle in before we bring our guest on this evening, Coach Lissa, Director of Human Performance at Thera, Thera, Thera Body, talking about Thera Gun. Um, Coach Lissa has been on Tonal Talk before. She is wonderful. She's amazing. You're going to love her. If you missed the last one, you are in for a treat. If you saw the last one, we're going to be talking about some new stuff tonight. So definitely watch. I'll pin this to the top. A few announcements for you tonight. Actually, I have a lot. There's a lot going on. We're not stopping. So we launched prenatal yoga with Liv Lo Golding this week. Uh, she is lovely. She is the founder of Spit. Fit Sphere Yoga, her own yoga company. She is also married to the dashing Henry Golding. Um, she has four units on tonal that are all for helping you stretch and strengthen your way through pregnancy. There is Energize, Zen, Balance, and Invigorate. Is it weird that I want to do those even though I'm not pregnant? They sound really nice. Um, so if you are expecting, definitely give those a try. Let us know what you think and say hi to Live Low. Um, Coach Jared has his first program out. Yay, Coach Jared, round of applause, Coach Jared. I'm so excited for him. This has been a long time coming. I know you guys have been asking for it in Feedback Fridays. Where's that Coach Jared program? Well, it is here. It is called Push and Pull Power. It's three days a week, intermediate. Definitely give that a try and let him know what you think of it in the official tonal community. He is excited to hear your feedback. Then we have new gear in the gear shop just dropped uh, this week. It's our winter drop. You're going to find some cozy sweaters, um, some puffy, puffer vests, which I really love, uh, some new mugs, good stuff. There's also the tonal accessory shelf in there. So definitely check that out. I posted about it today. If you go to... Um, you just sort, you can find my post and click that or on the bottom footer of our website, you can find the link to the gear shop and in the mobile app. Uh, let's see, who is here? I got some people here. That out. That's, that's me. <laughs> let's see. Hi, Dale. Hi, Holly. Hi, Richie. Okay, Tonal Gives Back Challenge is in full swing. We have raised over $2,100 so far. Big round of applause to the community. You guys are crushing this challenge. You always show up and give, and it's just so incredible to see. Jody Shaw today donated her own money to Eat, Learn, Play, which was incredible. I am absolutely loving seeing your dance cardio videos. Please keep them coming. We're donating $100 if you film yourself doing a dance cardio workout today, and then $1 for every other workout of the day that you post. We also have that virtual group workout on Saturday where we donate $5 per participant to eat learn play so definitely join for that you can find information on that and on our blog and at the top of the group and then speaking of eat learn play we're doing a special tonal talk tomorrow you get an extra tonal talk this week too it's christmas early um, i'll be interviewing the ceo and the vp of eat learn play tomorrow at 3 30 p.m pacific time in the community. So please, please join for that and learn all about this amazing organization that you are working out for this month. What else? Oh, some more good stuff. Oh, this one's fun. Next week, Wednesday at five, instead of a Tonal Talk interview, we are going to have the official Tonal Community Holiday Party. And what that means is trivia. I've been collecting really fun stats from across the company, all departments, and organizing them into a really fun trivia game for you all. So join in. There will be prizes, of course. That's going to be next Wednesday at five. And then the following week, I don't know if you guys can handle this. There's even more coming. Um, Rochelle and I will be leading everyone through a vision board workshop for 2021. So that's going to be really fun. She's going to show you how to do it digitally. I'll be doing it the old pen and paper style. Uh, so more details to come about that, but just know it's in the works. Two more things for you. Finally, we have a book club starting, um, starting in January. I'll be announcing the book next week, but just get ready for that going to help you start your year off on the right foot. And we also have a month-long January challenge coming up. Um, I can't spill the beans on what that entails, but it's going to be awesome. It's going to be led by a tonal coach. So um, put your guesses in the comments what coach you think it's going to be and what the details of the challenge are going to be. I want to see what you guys are thinking. But it's going to be good. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Um, yeah, so much going on. I think we got to it all. Are we ready to talk Theragun? I know I am. 
So tonight's guest is Lissa, Coach Lissa. She's the Director of Human Performance at TheraBody, where she helps create and deliver education in percussive therapy. We're going to learn all about exactly what percussive therapy is tonight. She also works with TheraBody partnerships, influencers, and athletes to create the most effective and unique ways to incorporate Theragun percussive therapy into their businesses, sports, or profession. She has more than 21 years of experience in the fitness industry, which when you see her, I don't understand how that math adds up, but she claims it, including personal training, fitness programming, group fitness instruction, and TRX suspension and functional training. Throughout her career as a personal trainer, Lissa developed a passion for education and joined the forces with fitness companies such as TRX, Les Mills, Reebok, and Tonal now to travel the world and share her love for movement through formal education and certification. Please welcome Coach Lissa. There she is. Hey, that was the best intro. I'm loving that we're done tonight and we didn't even put on that. I know. So cool. Hi. How are you? I am so good. I really, that was such a fun intro, but I am one, I want to do now the prenatal stuff, same mm -hmm. as you. I'm not pregnant, but I, that sounds lovely. Oh, and the challenge and the holiday party. You guys got so much going on. Oh my gosh, please join the holiday party. It's going to be really fun. i am um, got all the questions together and I'm running it by the company. We're doing a company holiday party this Friday. And so I'm going to run it by them and then give you all the final version next Wednesday. But it, it's good. It's going to be good. I just love this community. It's, there's just so much. There's so much you can do. It's so fun. We, I, we, I got really lucky. Like they make my job so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very fun job. So I know that we talked in, what was it, August? Oh my gosh, yeah. It was a while ago. It feels like years ago. Yeah. Um, but I've actually been hanging out with you a lot on Tonal, like <laughs> literally a couple times a week. <laughs> um, I'm loving the new content, the new Theragun oh. content on Tonal. And so I'm so excited to talk about it tonight. Um, literally when I'm like, my, my obsession is getting those little black circles on the Tonal app for when you, when you do a day. Yeah. And if I haven't done anything that day and I'm like, I need to do something. Like I'm yeah. definitely like, lower body cool down with Theragun. Boom. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love hearing that. That's cool. so kind of cheating, but like not cheating because it's still really good for me. And it is. We'll talk about why. But yeah. um, so thank you for giving me that, that, that nice little easy win for the day. Yeah. You're welcome. All, I'm all about the small wins. They yeah. accumulate over time. That's the big key. Exactly. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about percussive therapy and what it is and what it isn't. Oh my goodness. Yes. I mean, we get a lot of uh, questions around this because I'll be really honest. It's, it's new to the industry. Um, handheld percussive therapy is new, but the concepts really come from this history of vibration and pressure. And so um, I think I've shared Dr. Jason's story and I won't go too far into it, but for those of you who maybe haven't heard it, our founder started this in 2007 from an injury that he sustained. that caused a lot of pain, a lot of soft tissue damage, and he had less than desirable um, options to get out of this pain. And um, they say the best things are not the best things, but the best inventions come out of necessity. And that's really the birth of our product. And um, through that, what he was looking at was vibration um, and vibration is a therapeutic effect that we've been studying for years. And it has some amazing therapeutic effects on the body, um, specifically around pain and, and uh, pain modulation. And then the other thing he was studying was pressure. So think like massage therapy or compression to the tissue, like foam rolling or compression itself. And um, something about these two modalities to him really stood out. And it was one night where finally these things kept running together where he was like, wait a minute. And he put the two together in a device and that's how we developed progressive therapy. So what people typically look at is they kind of associate this vibration therapy um, and it is partially vibration, but it has a much different effect because vibration, what we know about vibration, it, it's more horizontals of the skin and it doesn't go deep enough to really react some of the mechanoreceptors that lie deep into the body that mm -hmm. give us different responses. So what you find is that it feels therapeutic. It's, it feels lovely on the skin. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there's some, uh, there's additional facts that come with that, to be honest, but once you take it away from the body, that's really where the, uh, the effects kind of start to dissipate quickly or stop altogether. 
And it's this um, tapping motion, this repetitive tapping where we can come on and off the body and then the tissue is getting compressed and vibration at the same time. And it's it's that deeper level, it's 60% deeper than vibration mm -hmm. that gives us the ability to kind of talk to it in a new way and really start to develop that education behind it. And so we've been as a company really busy um, researching the effects of this. And a lot of that was Dr. Jason's journey for 10 years, just mm -hmm. trying things out and calibrating these crazy like drills. Um, but off of those calibrations, he was finding very consistent results time and time again. And without knowing it, he really developed that research, but we wanted to make sure that at this, this pace and the amount of people we're talking to, we want to come forward with that science and research. So this year we really opened up and started doing our own and finding that indeed what we've been, what we've been really thinking is happening, seeing is happening, is scientifically what's happening, which is is uh, a cool thing to come with us. And um, so for the research portion, where can people find the, the studies or um, yeah. when will they be published? So we have a couple of different ways you can kind of go about it. So on our um, website, this, I think right after we spoke to you, we launched Therabody University. Um, mm -hmm. And Therabody University, right? Uh, is It was just our um, education pillar. And so we wanted to open up, we get questions like, you know, how do I use this? And part partly it's, it's intuitive, it feels good. You're gonna put it on your body and you're probably gonna navigate it correctly. But we wanted to dial in on that. And so we developed these curriculums for, um, especially for professionals in the industry, like personal trainers, um, massage therapists, physical therapists, doctors. We wanted to make sure we gave them all the research in a in a certification form. And so in developing this, two things happened. One, we wanted to go global because we are a global company. And in order for us to speak about our research globally, we had to be neutral in what we defined. And so we talk about percussive therapy, not there again. And okay. part of me, it, it feels like, way. Right. yeah, because I'm like, what we're researching is, are these two modalities? And we know when we, we want this effect, these three things have to be present in whatever device you decide to buy. Mm -hmm. And what we found is right now, we're the only ones that can produce that in our device. Mm -hmm. But we anticipate as this industry is growing, more and more things to come in. And we just wanna really be leaders on what this is actually doing so that people can really benefit because there's a huge benefit. And it goes well beyond a post-workout recovery. It, it's it's so much more than that. And we truly believe just like tonal that every time you step up to the tonal tonals, believing in the potential of you without you really knowing it. And it's helping guide you through that potential and people are really seeing those results. And so that's kind of the same with Theragun. We're just, we're just unlocking the potential in people through our research. We want to make sure that everybody understands that and is using it in ways that they can reach it. So um, that's really where our research is at the moment. So university is on our website. You can sign up for these courses in which we dive into those studies and really share all the different findings. And I think that really puts to rest some of the questions that we get because it is hard to articulate a study, you know, to the consumer. A lot of a lot of consumers, unfortunately, don't care about science. Mm -hmm. um, so we really put it in a certification form, and then. Through that, you have an email, it's education at Therabody Corp, and that's where we can um, connect you to our sports science division, and they can help give you all the studies that maybe you want to see that we have currently available. I would say maybe the average consumer doesn't care about the data or the science, but this community definitely does. Yeah. <laughs> They're so into it. So we got a lot because then you can actually talk about it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I love that you are leaders in the space and you're trying to push the entire space forward, not just Therabody, which is yeah. altruistic, but also um, like it's, it's helping everyone uh, pr progress. But how do you differentiate yourselves from your competitors? Because I do see questions in the community come up a lot like, hey, I'm in interested in trying these Theragun classes or getting a percussive oh. therapy device, but which one should I get? Is this knock off on Amazon for 40 bucks, gonna deliver the same results. So I see that question a lot and I would love to hear from you, your official response. Yeah, um, I have two, but the first <laughs> one is um, the, like scientifically we do, we do something different. So it's this combination of frequency, amplitude and torque that is 
is in our device that then delivers percussive therapy. And really what it's got to be present, all three of those in the same calibration. So when we broke that down, we looked at frequency and frequency is really how many taps per second or revolutions per minute that we're hitting the body. More importantly, looking and studying frequency, we link that to how your body is receiving messages. You know, our brain receives messages based on frequency or speed, and it has a hierarchy of which message it's going to actually pay attention to based on which message gets there first. And so when Dr. Jason was really developing percussive therapy, looking at frequency was really looking at how he could hijack the message to the brain. And that sounds a little silly, but this is how I, I kind of put it to terms that I feel like a lot of people can understand. But like, for example, I say, when you bump your elbow, what's the mm -hmm. first thing you do other than like an explicit word? Yeah, you like <laughs> grab it, right? Yeah. You grab it, you rub it. When you stab yeah. your toe, you grab your toe really immediately. Yeah. You're actually trying to trick your brain. You're trying to create a mm -hmm. stimulus that overrides that pain signal, yeah. this distracts it in some way. And so that's where our frequency, the studies around the speeds that we chose and why they're not higher or lower than the bookends we have are really linked to, it's called the gate control theory. And it's really around pain and pain modulation. So that's the first one. And when you see there's other products that have higher frequencies, we've really done our due diligence to say what effect is happening there? And is there a need for that when it comes to the results we're trying to achieve? And we haven't seen that yet. So it might sound cool that a competitor has this higher frequency, but actually yeah. you don't want that higher frequency if you want the results that you're looking for. Yeah, we've like I've seen a lot of, and it's funny because I now have been working with our marketing team, and, and my whole goal is that we don't. It doesn't sound like a marketing pitch, but it's mm -hmm. it's just hard to articulate stuff quickly and simply and snaps yeah. out for you know everybody else. But for tonal, for you guys that really get it. Um, when you look at a higher frequency, as, as you start to kind of flood the brain with messaging, you can get to a frequency, it's, it's a bit too much, too much yep. is coming in all at once. And it creates what they call noxious effect or noxious energy, which can translate into something feeling, feeling more irritating or like something slapping your body. And it becomes a little bit more distracting rather than therapeutic. And so understanding that was really where we wanted to make sure that Hey, if somebody said, well, we're giving you a lot more options, we can come back and say, well, why would you need more options? What, what's the effect of that? Yeah. Um, the second one is amplitude. And I think that's like kind of our, our claim to fame in terms of Jason understanding he needed depth mm. to reach some of the mechanoreceptors. We have these different nerve endings and receptors in our body that are translating messages to the rest of our body. And I think of them as like stalks of broccoli that kind of layer on top of each other. I and will you never forget to, that. Right? <laughs> you have to like get deeper for those broccoli. Right? But now I'm like, it kind of creeps me out to think that I have broccoli in there, but it makes sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> like a web. Um, but we're starting to understand how that, like, for example, um, when you look at the Golgi tendon and being able to activate the Golgi tendon, which is, is really you know, responsive of your flex, uh, your stretch reflex. And so being able to address that activate a Golgi tendon and then start to address the muscle fiber spindles that really create performance output, we then can speak to those things and create the opportunity for change or for you to be more prepared going into something. Mm -hmm. And so that's where that depth really played a bigger role for us. But keeping in mind the tissue up until this point, we haven't had a modality where it can go that deep and feel the vibration at the same time. And so that creates yet another sensation. The final element to it is torque. And that's where it all kind of comes together. And this is like, I call it our quality control, um, but our engine is just powerful enough that it will rip off speed and maintain speed and maintain our full amplitude, meaning all the way off the body and on the body. And as the user might apply pressure, we can guarantee that speed will not slow down mm -hmm. and the amplitude won't shorten or, or uh, mm -hmm. dissipate. Because you have to think about if we understand the role frequency plays and we can't guarantee that you can maintain that as you're treating yourself, then we can't predict the outcome. Yeah. And not that these outcomes could be severely impacted by time, but when it comes to performance, there is there is an element that you're impacting your performance based on the length of time you're using it. And so 
that's where we can really start to understand and get more granular on programming for for strength, for um, performance, for recovery, for all these great things. I mean, that leads me so well into what the content you created for Tonal and how we're gonna help members optimize their performance on Tonal. Um, but before we get there, uh, I, I liken it to, you know, you can get the, you can, you can do a lot with like resistance bands, what you can do with Tonal, you know, you can, you can do some bicep curls, you can do some squats with a little resistance, but is it the same as a tonal? No, there's insane engineering in the tonal. There's right. the detail quality that you might not see because you can't lift under the hood. You shouldn't, it'll avoid your movie. But it's the same thing with <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you could get a knockoff and it's gonna make yeah. your skin go great, but is it the same? And as you just explained, no. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, you know, we, I think too, we spoke to this last time is one of the biggest things our founder, we had the opportunity to be quiet from the beginning, but he chose science, he chose science over quiet mm -hmm. because quiet engines didn't have the power to mm -hmm. tap. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when we launched uh, our line that has, you know, we have a couple different devices, all different price points. We said, listen, we need more price points because we want to open up before for everybody, we have to have an option for everybody but we'll never sacrifice the therapeutic effect. So when it comes to buying like the price points, you'll always get our science and our, um, and our progressive therapy. What you get to choose is like how long the battery is or, you know, how big the device is or how many bells and whistles, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of love that we've been able to then now create options so that we understand that there's knockoffs. We understand that temptation, but, like you chose tonal because you care about what you, you know, you're, you're thoughtful about the decisions you're making and you wanted to make a, a smart purchase and, you know, that due diligence, I'm sure you looked at other things and knew that this was the best. It's kind of the same. I think what they're going to run along the same lines is there's going to be a lot of competitors out there, but nobody does programming like tonal. Nobody gives you the options. Nobody has that virtual coach and nobody is really progressing their their community quite like this. And so what an opportunity for us to come and just be a support system. Totally, I mean, our community, they value their health, they value their wellness, they invest in it, they invested in Tonal. Yeah. And that's why we felt TheraBody was the correct partner to go with in terms of progressive therapy, because they are at the same caliber of quality that we try to deliver for our, for our customers. Yeah. But anyways, enough about that. <laughs> I do you talk about um, another yeah. thing our community loves is optimizing their performance. Yes. They're really into biohacking, getting the most out of every rep, data-driven results. Um, how is the content that you created for Tonal gonna help them do that? And can you speak to us, speak to the content you created in terms of the warm-ups and the cool downs, when to use them, what to do? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was such a cool opportunity. I have to give a huge shout out to Paul Caldwell who joined us last time. Um, he, he had worked closely with me to develop this stuff. Um, we have an awesome team, but right. what we looked at was first, um, the opportunity was, you know, we had, um, these five minute segments and, you know, as we, as a team started to think through, like, what could we offer in five minutes? And, you know, there's on the one side, like, as a trainer before Theragun, I was like, five minutes is when I'm with my clients, I want more time with them, especially when I'm building strength. Yeah. But then as I started to like, as we really researched in Theragun, what, what we're doing is we're really providing you an opportunity to accelerate that warm up. And so one thing I'll just share really quick as a story, because I'm a storyteller, but um, you know, as, as an athlete, you know, I, my whole life, there have been times where um, as I got, you know, more and more into my sport. I played soccer throughout high school and college. And as I started to get, you know, more defined in my, in my sport and better at it, there was this kind of warm up sequence, right? This ritual that I would partake mm -hmm. in. And there was a moment where I'd be like, it's go time. And that moment could be 10 minutes after I start training or 45 minutes. Right. And I had to allow that to happen. And when we started looking at professional athletes, which is really where we were starting our research at the beginning, we were seeing this moment of where's their slow to go moment where they pick up and they take off on the field and using progressive therapy. That was one of the first things we did was like, what are we doing in that, in that segment? And what we're finding is, is being able to assist them to get to that go moment much faster without a risk of injury, because we're, mm -hmm. we're accelerating um, how your body feel uh, tissue is heated up. Mm -hmm. We're accelerating the blood flow to those areas. And to be quite honest, when blood flow is present in those areas, you're going to have protective effects that kind of roll into your workout. Mm -hmm. right? You're going to, you can use these warm ups right before these little, like they're, 
I'm going to say it again, little snacks right before you go into your actual programming. So mm -hmm. you're still going to go into your entire workout, but you can use these as just an accelerator at the beginning to, to help you feel that much better. So let's call well, it like natural pre-workout. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's like a, a natural Red Bull. Well, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, but you think about like, like, you know, as a community, I mean, I've been using the tunnel. I've been using it. I've been programming my own stuff because it's so fun to use everything. And then working through the amazing coaches and what they programmed and what you're, you're what you're, probably everybody is finding is you're making these small changes, these progressions and you're, you're seeing things change You're feeling things change. And so there's going to be days where you feel a little extra sore on your upper body. You feel a little bit more tight. For me, it might be a workout or it might be tension. I've been holding a ton of tension just our current environment. This is where I stress. Now I'm like this. Mm -hmm. So to be able to have something that kind of gets me relief from that tension so I can focus on my warm up. Oh my gosh, that's like the perfect little one two punch to make me feel like I'm about to tackle something that's going to be an amazing workout. And so it's just there to assist or accelerate those what Tonal already has in place. Mm -hmm. But let's say you're throughout the day and you're just feeling a little bit like low. Um, maybe your upper body is a little bit tense and tight. You can just use the upper body warm up and it's five minutes. And even though you might not be going into warm up, you're going to feel this a little bit of energy, this blood flow, this kind of refresh or reset. So you can tackle what you have to do. And so that can, that's how you can kind of use it standalone, but it partners perfect with any upper body warm up. We have a lower body warm up and then we have a core warm up. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of pick and choose what, what works best for your programming you've decided or just how you're feeling. If you, I went, I did a couple hikes last week. So my lower body workouts were definitely harder. Mm -hmm. So this was a great way to kind of just help get my body moving, get my system flushed out so I could actually tackle that workout without feeling stiff in those first few moments. So if someone is going into a full body workout, would you recommend they do all three or just kind of like choose the one where they feel they need it the most or either just depends on the person? I, I would say you could do all three. Absolutely. But I do think you could pick and choose based on maybe what you're kind of focusing on, even though it's full body, maybe you know that your legs are a little bit tired from the day before. So you want to kind of maybe put a little more attention on them again, feeling stress, or maybe it's, Hey, I'm doing a total body workout, but my goal right now is to get like a pump in my bicep. So maybe it's just that you're focusing on that muscle group going into the workout. So you're getting extra stimulation to that area, just creating that platform for that muscle to perform even that much better. So you can kind of play it. It's really dealer's choice. Um, and, but you can absolutely put them all three together for a great, a really extensive like warm up session. So you can hit mm -hmm. that so hard. Well, it's nice because, you know, some days you just don't feel like it. You just don't mm -hmm. want to work out. You're tired. You're exhausted. You've been Zooming all freaking day. So <laughs> if you just walk up to your tonal, turn it on, and press play on one of those, it's like a really nice ease into your workout. And so you yeah. can... By the, by the time you're done with it, you're feeling loose, you're feeling warmed up, you're feeling like, okay, I mentally am there, I'm physically yeah. there, I can actually tackle this workout. That, Kate, you just say it like, that's brilliant too, because, you know, there are days, I don't, I hope that this doesn't happen, but I know it's happened to me before where I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a workout, and I get there, and I like, go to start it, and I'm like, ah, yeah. like, you're just in that, you're in that limbo, try the warm up, maybe it gives you enough energy to then push play on the workout, like it is, those are meant to be activation stimulation. So whether you need that specifically going into your workout or you just need a little pick me up throughout the day, these little five minute segments are, are a perfect addition to kind of any activity where you need that extra energy, that extra just revive in your body. And how do the warm ups differ from the cool downs? So the cool downs we created, um, you know, again, we looked at like as, as really we're working as recovery experts in our field, you know, are we doing our due diligence by saying recovery is in 10 minutes, right? And so we had to really look at that first. And we said, well, what we do know is tonal programming yet again is providing everybody with solid recovery built into their workouts, right? And then you have the ability to pick and choose other recovery tactics if you need it or programming. Um, so we said, listen, there are days, and this is probably from me where I taught group fitness for years. And um, 
I would get, I hated the end of the class because we'd have such a powerful class and then people would always sacrifice the recovery to yeah. like, for, to shower and get out of the, the yeah. gym. Okay. Yeah. Right. And so now you don't have any excuse because the channel's at your house. Um, but what this, this showed me is that, you know, you have to learn to really understand recovery as part of your workout. And until we do, this is a, this is just the best foot forward to say, if you're short on time or if you feel like you need a little more, but you can't do an hour, here is something that can really help down, regulate your system, bring blood flow to that area, detone the muscle, and then provide that environment where recovery can happen and happen really well. Mm -hmm. And whether you do it post-workout or you wait a little bit and do it at night, or you've had a morning workout and you recover, but you're like, I'm starting to already feel sore, pop on the, th the recovery. It's 10 minutes. You can do it at night and you have options with it, right? <laughs> and it will melt. You feel like if you like did a full body massage afterwards. It's yeah. Awesome. It okay. So, crazy. so for warm ups, we're priming the body so that we can lift more, lift better, lift heavier, um, maybe do a few extra reps just because yeah. we're, we've got that stimulation, that blood flow. And then afterwards we're calming the body down and letting that recovery process basically speeding up that recovery process so that we aren't so sore the next day that we can't do another workout. So we're ready to go for the next day. And so then yeah. that strength, strength score goes up. We're more consistent in our workouts and we enjoy it more essentially. Yeah. I know a good, like it's good to feel those doms sometimes, but again and again and again and again, it can get a little bit tiring. So if we yeah. can do that a bit, but still get the effects, then it's perfect. Yeah. And you know, a lot of times when we're that sore, we, we cater to the soreness. And so we're not reaching our full range of movement. It's probably when that, the coach is coming on going, getting lower. And I'm like, I swear I was getting lower. <laughs> no, like you go lower, Tom. Are, are you here? Um, you go down your left. <laughs> yeah. And you know, sometimes that can feel discouraging, especially if you are making these gains and then you go into a workout, like you've been on this momentum and then suddenly you're, maybe it's just off and you're trying to think like, why was that off? And you know, recovery isn't just, you know, stretching and uh, Theragun, it's it's hydration, it's sleep, it's nutrition, but you know, every little bit helps. And so anytime we can just provide that support to help you get to that space so you feel fresh, so you don't hit those plateaus, so you do keep making yeah. those changes, it's just creating a healthier lifestyle altogether. I mean, I see all the time people in the community say, you know, I never recovered. I never did focus on recovery in the gym. I never did my active stretches. I never did my mobility, blah, blah, blah. And I've total forces me to add it in and my gains have skyrocketed. I mean, yeah. I see it almost weekly with it. So this is yeah. just another way to kind of like fast track that. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels good. It feels so good. <laughs> it's so good. We feel good. Yeah. And it's so nice to have you there just telling me what to do, because I know that I can do it intuitively. I know I can sync up to the app, which the app is really good actually, but it's so nice to just follow what you're doing. There's just something about it. That's like, oh, no. I don't want to think about this anymore. Like Lisa is going to take me through it. And it's I hope just everybody thinks that I really do. <laughs> it was so fun working with the crew, but you know, you're like, I hope people don't find my voice annoying or, <laughs> or whatever it is. I've never been able to watch a single tonal talk episode that I've ever done. Like I can't watch right. it myself. It's the worst. Yeah. So yeah. unfortunately yeah. for you, you don't get to enjoy it. I'm sure. Or you should watch yourself because you're awesome. You're so fun. I've watched our tonal talk. I'm like, hey, so you're the bomb. You're so fun to talk to. You. Um, okay, so someone had mentioned on here that they tried a new attachment on their Theragun. It's kind of far up, but. Um, yeah. It made me think that I got my Theragun in this awesome travel case, which I love. I keep it in. It's like nice and hard, even though I'm not traveling anywhere. But, um, and mine came with all these attachments, so I don't know what to do with them. So yeah. I'm wondering if you could kind of enlighten me on how I can get a little bit more out of my Theragun and use the attachments. Oh my gosh, love this. And you know why everybody, so many people ask us about our attachments. It's probably my favorite thing to talk about because I always just think if I didn't work for the company and kind of get to see and know what I'm, what I am, like, would, would it translate to me outside of that? And, mm -hmm. um, so going through the attachments, the first one that you'll always see on our devices is the dampener. And this one's like, it kind of has this extra shelving to it. Yeah. And it's super, it's got some give. Yeah. Um, 
I call this the gateway to using Theragun. It was created, um, you know, our founder is a chiropractor and when he developed treatments, he was working on um, carpal tunnel and, and tennis elbow, like a lot of inflammatory or sensitive areas. So this was great because it absorbed some of the impact mm -hmm. and it can go like on or around bone. So how does that play for our, for the tonal community? Well, I, a lot of times I'll pop this on as like my recovery um, okay. attachment or when I'm like, maybe I've, maybe I didn't do all the recovery I thought I needed or I've, I've got DOMS, you know, like it, it mm -hmm. happens to all of us. Um, this is probably the one I would use just because it is going to feel a little bit better and while it's delivering the progressive therapy. So okay. what I don't use this one though for is um, warming up mm -hmm. okay. because it, it does have a little bit of squish to it. But when we do the warm up, and I'm, I kind of mentioned this a, a bit, the difference between um, warming up and cooling down or activating and recovering with the device is kind of the amount of time you use it and then how fast you move the device. Mm -hmm. Like so, so it. Yeah. And yeah. so when your application is fast, like in the warm up, like I'm literally like, yeah, kind of like painting my skin. Yeah. Um, you, the, I want to give you a more firm attachment so that you can move fast and kind of protect the integrity of the attachment. And so that's the only time that I really start to, yeah, associate different attachments. So that's the, the small one. Yeah. I'm like, why, why is this so on camera? I've got it. Um, and it's a little bit more firm. So I know you can't really like see the, which way am I going here? The get <laughs> this one's a little bit squishy. Um, and this one's a little bit more firm. So, it's going to pack a little more punch. So I think about that delivery, it's going to stimulate a bit more on the inside. Oh, I just found another one. Yeah, which one do you want? I found this little guy. This one's even harder. Ooh, this one is crazy. So this one, <laughs> a little bit, right? Okay. So a couple things we decided about our attachments because, um, in fact, our we our signature attachment was the dampener. We changed mm -hmm. the shape of it. It look, used to be like twofold. It looked like a cup mm -hmm. almost. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's the most copied uh, attachment. So anybody who uses that has to buy the rights to use it from our founder because he created it. This one, um, we so with that, we decided there's a lot of attachments that are hard plastic. And over time, we don't want hard plastic hitting your skin 40 times in one second. So each one has a little bit of give, even if they're firm. Mm -hmm. And then that closed cell foam. So that that is a better delivery for your skin itself or your body itself. This is actually the imprint of Dr. Jason's thumb. This is how no he, way. he was like, as a chiropractor, I need like, how many times have you personally wanted someone to put like an elbow or a thumb into a knot? Yeah. 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 So that's where he was like, I need something that's actually a bit more targeted. So as these attachment gets smaller, the dose of progressive therapy gets more intense mm. and more targeted to that area. So now you can really specify like, that's the area I want to treat. Um, and so the thumb can really help get, into that specific zone. I love it for knots, um, but it was created for the QL. So when you're going into your low back, yeah. we didn't want to put you in this position and then make you feel like you had to crank your arm to feel something go through your extensors. Mm. So this gives you enough punch without you having to add additional force. So it kind of complements additional pressure. Yeah. I love how thoughtful, like well thought out it is. Like in that exact position, you know that we need a little bit more force. So you made a thumb attachment. I know. I'd like to pretend like I had something to do with it. I'll, I'll, say, I'll take it. I'll be like, yeah, we or yes. <laughs> when I announce things in the community that I know the community is going to be excited about. I'm like, yes, we developed this over many, many months. And I was like, really long hard on the programming. <laughs> You're yeah. welcome. I just get to talk about it. Um, Laura Speak said that she loves using the thumb on her feet, which sounds uh, cool, but I get what she means. <laughs> I, I feel you, girl. Um, the thumb and the cone are actually my favorite on the feet. And yeah. I think the cone kind of freaks people out a little bit. Yeah, I'm terrified. <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I have a fun story about it, actually. Uh, but with the cone, when I, I will tell people, listen, so just test it first. What you'll want to do is turn on the device and then like float your hand under it. So control the pressure from your bottom hand rather than pushing it onto your body. So we'll do turn it. on, let it roll. And then you just pull your hand underneath. And when you feel it with no pressure, actually doesn't feel that bad. Yeah. It's right? not as scary as I thought. Yeah. And so I just like, you'll see me do it on my thumb. Um, my mom has horrible arthritis her hand is now like this 
Yeah. I've been using the cone to kind of help with that tissue to help open it back up, oh, to help cool. give her a little bit of freedom throughout our day. So targeted areas like that. Um, so it doesn't make it super intense. It just makes it more focused, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like, it is a bit more firm. So there, you're yeah. going to be a, a little more intense, but it's not like, it's not gnarly. I guess, I don't know if that's the right word to say, but it is good. it's very scientific. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Gnarly. That's, I feel like yeah. Tim would be very, Tim is our sports scientist. I'm sure he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> more than um, but I will say, you know, if you are hesitant about some of the attachments, a great spot to try is try it on your thigh. You know, that we have, our quads are one of the biggest muscles in our body. There's enough meat there on most people to where you've got something to kick back at you. You know, if you put it on like your forearm, there's a lot of like tissue and there's a lot of bone. So give it to an area that's got a thicker muscle or more density and you'll be able to then add a little pressure, see how it feels, take off the pressure without like, you know, feeling like maybe you're not doing it correctly. It just gives you a better platform to, to try things. And the attachments are so easy to change too. I love that. Yeah. Um, can you tell me about this one? I don't really know what to do. This one looks like like a hair dryer, like the the attachment on my hair dryer that I never use and I probably should. So <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm so pumped he created this one. So it was originally designed for to go under the shoulder blade. Mm. So it's its name is the wedge, and it's to wedge to wedge under things and between things yeah. to kind of cut through, but. While it was created to go under the shoulder, the three ways I've been seeing people use it, which I'm like, brilliant. Like our audience even gives us the best ideas sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, is one using it on the IT band. I think there's mm -hmm. a lot of people have, you know, a lot of setbacks with IT bands. And so um, like, if this is my IT band, I can run it long ways, but I can also turn it to its side and almost like feather in between. So I can mm. now start to cut in between and do different techniques there. So I, I've loved seeing people use it like that. Um, and then I kind of secretly, because if you, you don't turn any of our attachments on their side, I'll say that, but this is the Lissa hack, but the edge of this kind of mimics the edge of the cone. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I'm doing it, I can actually turn it just a little bit like that mm. and use it like a cone. We want to keep as much perpendicular to the skin as possible, but it give, I can kind of like target at the same time if I needed to. So it has that duality for me. Mm -hmm. And then um, the main reason Jason created it other than the shoulder blade, Dr. J, um, was that he was like, I oftentimes use that broad edge of my thumb to understand if the tissue is kind of running clean to, mm -hmm. to look for fluid distribution. It's also part of like scraping and lymphatic drainage techniques. And so that long edge gives you like a long edge of a thumb. So now you can use things like at night I do, I kind of sweep up toward my, um, the center of my body and kind of mimic something like, I'm not going to say it's officially lymphatic drainage. I'll be very careful there, but it is helping kind of push things or move things along. And, um, you'll find it as like our jet lag protocol. That's what we recommend in terms of like moving the fluid in like a broad spectrum kind of push. I can't wait to have jet lag again someday. I know. <laughs> That's whoever thought. Like I can't wait. Um, I'm craving it. Well, now I'm so excited to go try all these attachments. Except, I mean, maybe this one, but I might wait. Yeah. On this one. Right. You'll, I think when you have that specific area, like I had a trigger point recently, and that this just felt so good for me for some reason. But I also have been that pain is gain kind of athlete my whole life. So I, I definitely try to like make sure I'm balancing the two. Mm -hmm. I, I think you'll like the Karen at some point. So I was hoping, I know you're developing more content for Tonal, which is awesome. Please keep it coming. Um, I was hoping you could make one where like someone else has to do it for you. Right. <laughs> Your partner. Oh, maybe it'd be like couples. Maybe it'd be like a Valentine special. Oh my gosh. I love that. Cause I keep wanting Morgan to could do this for me. But the cool thing about it is I don't need her to do it for me. Like you can hold the Theragun in so many different yeah. ways, which I think is really cool. So I was hoping you could speak to that a little bit and yes. yeah, go for it. Yeah. So um, I actually do this. So um, when we sign any athlete or influencer to our company, they have to go through a hour long session with me. Bless well, their um, we do an education. We're like, listen, this is what we're based on. We, it's not a pretty picture of you and the product. It's really like, we want to support you and how do we get involved? 
And so, um, in developing that, like the quick form is like, if you want to look like you know how to use this bad boy, here are a couple like sneak tricks. But the one thing that I've realized is I rarely hold the top. And the reason why I think that is, is because, you know, ergonomics played a role as to why we are shaped like this. Jason said, I can't harm you and hurt you at the same time. So we need different pressure points. Mm -hmm. But with this kind of handle, I usually use this grip when I'm treating somebody else because I can mm -hmm. get on top of my body. I can leverage my body weight. My wrist and my elbow aren't doing that. So then when it comes to treating myself, I usually utilize, it's called our um, reverse grip where you put four fingers through the center. So just, yeah. Go. Yep. If you turn um, turn the device around and do the same thing. Yep. There you go. I know. Like, there we are. <laughs> Flipped. Hey, hey, Melissa show, guys. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> um, so this is really, and the reason why I like this is I feel closer to the, you know, the nozzle. And I feel like I have a little more control. Like I'm mm -hmm. almost feeling it like I'm in control a little better. I can do things like let it, let my hand rest if I'm, you know, mm -hmm. under it for a bit, which our massage therapist loves that. Um, so that's, that's the one. And so when you're treating your upper body, when you're treating your upper body, I just recommend, I say, try treating a cross body. So instead of mm -hmm. same side, which is typically what I see people do, it's, it feels more intuitive. Try cross body because when you do that, you can now relax this arm. So my arms relax. I then can move around in different ways yeah. and even address different muscles with movement now. And mm -hmm. so I have a bit of a more dynamic treatment pattern and I just have more control. Again, this isn't necessarily wrong, but I have found that like my trap stays pretty active as I'm doing this and I want to be a little more passive sometimes. Yep. Um, we also have this inverse grip. So add the four fingers in and we're going to stay right here. You're just going to grab it with your other hand right here so you can hold the device. And then you'll take your hand to the front and put your thumb right in. Yeah, yeah. So that's another grip we have. Sometimes that's great on the lower body when you're treating the outer edge because you can just get better vantage points. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have the base grip so you can hold it from the base. And this is, this has actually been a grip that I've loved for like low back. People like this base grip. They come in with their thumb and now the, the device is sitting straight up and down. Mm. So you can really like get back there. Um, mm. and again, it's all about just trying to protect your wrist. We looked at like a hairdresser, for example, when they're constantly holding that hairdryer, rolling the brush, the, the patterns that create inflammatory processes and then ailments. We wanted to avoid that at all costs. So that's why mm -hmm. that shapes that way. And we have all those great everything. And and I love that these tips and tricks are kind of like infused in the content yeah. that you for tonal. So it's um, it's almost like I do I keep doing them to like learn more little things because you find oh, good. like one that I really loved was when you talk about movement snacks and using Therabody for little snacks throughout the day. So can you yeah. talk about that and why we should do it? And then we'll try to wrap up. I and mean, we could make this a two hour thing. Cause I right. well, yeah, you guys still wait. And then there was a question came in. I wanted to, uh, okay. also yeah. Did that. but yeah, so movement snacks, I mean, like at the end of the day, especially when it, with COVID hitting, we just really started to talk about like, we are in fixed positions and like, I can't, to the real honest truth of it is I can't take a break some days. Like I'm in sessions and like standing, I don't have the right space to stand. So just being able to take a quick breather and do something for my body. And so what I found is when I'm using Theragun in between, I literally do it in between every single, uh, like zoom call I'm on during the day, I just really run it over those muscles that, you know, make me, especially my traps. That's where I hold my tension. What you're going to find is again, tension relief, stimulation, blood flow. But with that, you're going to start to articulate, you're going to feel your posture and you're going to want to like kind of correct that. But you can partner this with like stand up and just move around for a second. So I feel like using Theragun really helps you get out of that fixed position. It almost like it's like your uh, support system. It's like your, you know, it's like your hype girl. You feel better. Like, okay, well, you gotta get up, girl. Kick it. Oh, 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 oh. Move this, yeah. man. Um, and this one, I also think like I want to stretch, but there was one analogy that that has always stuck to me, and it's it's it was like you know especially as winter is kind of coming in. It's not that California is cold, but my house is actually cold quite a bit of the time. I'm like actually kind of cold. My body is not warm. And the last thing I want to do is get up and stretch and just like kind of take it to a space. It may not be ready to go to, 
like thinking of a stick of gum. Mm -hmm. If I put a stick of gum out on a table in the hot summer day, it's going to melt. So when I pick it up, I can just pull it apart. It's fine. But if it's cold and I go, it's going to snap. Yeah. And I think about that in terms of, you know, my body. That's so right. being able to keep it warm and then move, it's just, it's the perfect little, like under one minute and you're back into your computer and you've done this kind of great thing for your body. So okay. maybe, I'm gonna do that. try it. Great. Right. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get to some questions. Okay. Um, man, I had so much I could talk to you about. Okay. Let's see. I know. They're, they're, talking, they're talking a lot about buying it for Christmas, which I do want to say, get it tonight. If you're considering it, go get it now because time is yeah. running out. We want to make sure it gets under the tree. Right, Lissa? Yes. I think tonight might be the last night they're shipping out. Um, but I think that they're just careful not to guarantee. So they'll mm -hmm. be really good about, are we hired an awesome customer uh, care team to come in and help us assist this year to make sure that we we're giving everybody the right information. So um, you can also reach out to me because you're my community. So I'll see what I can do if, if that helps at all. I can't promise, but I will help anybody that contacts me. We're been taken care of. Also, you can check your inbox from Tonal. There's a coupon code for 10% off Theragun through the Tonal website. The subject line of that email is Therabody X Tonal, I believe. Um, DM me if you're looking for it and I can make sure it gets to you. Um, okay, someone asked, what's the best way to use the Duo? What is the Duo and what's the best way to use it? Oh gosh, what is that? I don't have that, Lissa. I know, I'm gonna send it to you. We launched <laughs> this recently um, and Jay, I mean, Jason is just, I don't, I wish I knew how his brain worked, but essentially he had the need um, with different athletes to have like kind of double the treatment. So I'm putting this on mine really quick. Hang on one sec, because I have a new one and it's, so this cat daddy creates the opportunity where you can put any combination of your attachments on the end. And I have two, I think I'd be better at this. There we go. I have two um, dampeners on right now. Whoa. Um, you're getting double the dose. It like, honestly, and when they created this, I was like, is it going to feel that much better? I, like, I wish you guys knew how skeptical I was. And then to hear my passion, like even my family's like, calm down, listen. I'm like, but it's real. Like it's actually, um, so honestly the, I will say the duo your is more in the recovery zone. We're not using it a lot on the stimulation side. So it would be an awesome, it's double dosing that recovery. It's also covering more area at once. So it's like, you're getting, you're getting more percussive therapy to the body. Um, I've loved the double attachments where I'm using the same attachment. Um, but the one that like I love the most is the combo of the wedge and the dampener. Okay. Um, so with that, what I can do is run my quad and my IT band. Oh, cool. Yeah, totally. And I'm kind of business up top, party in the bottom. So excuse my sweatpants for a sec. Uh, right? We're all. <laughs> I mean, like the reality of life right now. But <laughs> what I can do is like, you know, it's turned on its side, that wedges. Yeah. So I can, Enough. So now what I can do is I can take the wedge part and now the wedge is on my IT band. Can you see that? The wedge is on my IT band angles. Yep. yep. Right. And then the dampener is actually on my quad. So now I have two different things being treated at one time. So I'm creating the space with the wedge, but then I'm coming back with the dampener. Now I have this great kind of treatment process there. And we found that this is an insanely comfortable way to treat a sensitive area because it's kind of, it's like a diversion effect. Like one thing's being treated, but so is the other side. So you have this duality happening. Well, I've got to try that. Um, someone asked, where can we get the duo attachment? I'm guessing on your website? Yep, so you can, you can buy the duo attachment itself. So just that little like, piece that you put on and you can use the combination of your own attachments that you have, mm -hmm. or you can buy the duo with with new attachments that come with it. I will say that the double dampener is probably where you want to start. So mm -hmm. buying either buying an additional dampener with the duo um, will be the best bet, but we are selling them as a, as a package. So there's like the oh, thumb combo or the dampener, uh, or not the dampener, uh, the duo thumb or the duo wedge. So you can see that on our website, um, but you can also just buy the duo attachment, play around with your own mm -hmm. and then purchase each individual attachment if you want to try, you know, more combinations. That's such a great, um, a great stocking stuffer for someone who yeah. already has the Theragun. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, 
like I said, we could keep going, but I guess I know. our social media manager gets mad at me when I go over an hour. It's hard to upload yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to do it again. We'll have to invite Paul back next time too. Definitely. No, I miss Paul. Um, before we head out, Lissa, what does it mean for you to be your strongest? Uh, it, honestly, it just means at this point, confidence in everything I do. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Like this, it's so crazy all the change that's happened in the world and all the change that's happened, you know, in the company that I'm working with and all the different people that I um, daily get to interact with. And um, it, it like just being able to feel confident in who I am, my body and little things like I'm going to go home and train my little nephew on and so soccer. I can't tell you the last of a ball, um, but it, like just having the confidence that I can hang out with him and, and play and not be sore for nine days or, um, you know, travel, like I'm tra I had to travel a little bit and just feeling confident in my health. It translates that way and confident and just stepping up to any task that I have to step up to. And with the addition of stress these days, it, strength has been my anchor and insanity, yeah. really. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lisa. This was Thank so fun. You. Please come join me on Total Talk like once a month. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> We should we can just have our we can have little side talks too. We should we just, just like hang out, out please. Yeah. You're not like we need to hang out. We yeah. definitely need to hang out. Okay. So make sure you go to check your inbox for the discount code for your Theragun. If you are a tonal member, go get your Theragun tonight. So it's under the tree in time. You can also get the attachments and the duo as stocking stuffers. And make sure you check out the Theragun content on Tonal. It is so good. I'm not just saying that, not just blowing smoke. I use it all the time. It's like it's like my little cheat, so I get my black circles. So don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, everyone, for being tuned in. Be sure yeah. to join Coach Jared tomorrow for Ask a Coach, and join me tomorrow with Eat, Learn, Play, so that we can get to know the organization we are fundraising for. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a happy holidays. Yeah, you too. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Bye.